Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have learned to import the data set. We created two new entities, matrix of features x and the dependent variable vector y. I hope you implemented the code as far as we discussed. In this video, we'll take care of missing data. If we have a look again at our data set data.csv, we notice that there is a missing salary here for this specific customer from Germany who is 40 years old and who had purchased the product and missing age for this customer who is from Spain and who did not purchase the product. So generally, you don't want to have any missing data in your data set for the simple reason that it can cause some errors when training your machine learning model and therefore you must handle them. There are actually several ways to handle them. A first way is to just ignore the observation by deleting it. That's one method and this actually works if you have a very large data set and very few missing data. You know removing these very few missing data or observations won't change much the learning quality of your model. For example, if you have a data set of 10,000 customer purchase details and there are about 20 missing values, then removing those values doesn't affect the performance of your model. But sometimes you can have a lot of missing data and therefore you must handle them the right way. So the first way is to just ignore them, that is to remove them. And now a second way, that is what we are adding right now is to actually replace the missing data, the missing value by average of all the values in that specific column in which the data is missing. So here we have a missing salary. What we want to do is replace this missing salary by average of all these salaries. This is a classic way of handling missing data. So here we go, taking care of missing data, let's create a new cell. Handling missing data. Then we'll add a new code cell here. Let's now replace that missing salary by average of all salaries here and missing values of age that is this specific age here with all the average of these specific ages in this particular column. So to do this we are going to use the library scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is an amazing data science library containing a lot of tools including a lot of data pre-processing tools. You will actually use scikit-learn a lot in your machine learning career. More than half of the machine learning models we build will be built with scikit-learn. And so here we are going to use scikit-learn to handle missing data. And to do this, the class that we are going to use from scikit-learn is simple imputer. We are actually going to first import that simple imputer class. Then we'll create an instance, an object of simple imputer class. This object will allow us to exactly replace this missing salary here by average of the salaries. And then we'll have an updated data set, an updated matrix of features because we'll apply this imputer on the matrix of features only. So we'll have a new matrix of features with no missing data because the missing salary will be replaced by the average salary. So let's do this. First, since this class belongs to scikit-learn, we are going to start here by going fr from scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is actually named as sklearn here. From sklearn. So sklearn, then if you can recall, we discussed in the previous videos, in order to access a module, we have to add a dot. Now, this simple imputer class which we want to import belongs to a certain module of scikit-learn called impute. And from this impute module, we are going to import the simple imputer class from sklearn dot impute import 
सिंपल इन्वर्टर देन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू क्रिएट एन इंस्टेंस ऑफ दिस क्लास to replace that missing salary by average of salaries so since we are about to create a new object we have to introduce here a new variable and we are going to call this variable imputer and therefore since it will be the object of simple imputer class we have to call this class simple imputer simple imputer so we have created an object to the class you simply call the class then you add some parenthesis here and now we are going to enter arguments in order to replace this missing salary and missing age by average of salaries and average of ages here respectively because know that there are actually many replacements that you could do instead of replacing it by average salary you could replace it by median salary there is a difference between average and the median you could also replace a missing value by most frequent value so you have many options but the most classic one and the option that i recommend is the average salary the mean salary and the mean age and so that's exactly what we have to enter here first we have to specify which missing values we have to replace and so we enter here first argument called missing values missing values which has to be equal to np the numpy library dot nan and that's just to say that we want to replace all the missing values in the data set and then the second argument to get the second argument just add a comma here the second argument we have to input here is the one saying that the missing values here the empty values of the data set will be replaced by mean and to do this we have to add the next argument here which is strategy and this argument will be equal to in quote mean and that's just to say that we want to replace all the missing values in the matrix of features by mean of feature itself so imputer equal to simple imputer and the two arguments we gave are missing values n bit dot none and the strategy is mean now remember this is just an object we haven't connected anything yet to our matrix of features so the next step is indeed to apply this imputer object on the matrix of features a class consists an assemble of instructions but also some operations and actions which you can apply to other objects or variables and these are called methods they are like functions and one of them is exactly the fit method the fit method will exactly connect this imputer to the matrix of features it will look at the missing values in the salary column and also it will compute the average of the salaries but this is not enough the fit method will just compute the average of salaries you have to replace the missing values right to do the replacement we'll have to call another method called transform which will apply the transformation meaning it will replace the missing salary here by average of salaries so to do this let's first call the fit method in order to do, do this we have to call first our object imputer
and then you know we need to add a dot we'll call the fit method which has some arguments so to give the arguments we'll add parenthesis here because it's like a function inside a class and this function expects all columns of x with numerical values as argument but only the ones with numerical values not the ones with text or strings or categories to get this column let's get the matrix of features x first then we'll add the range here we are calling the matrix of features x first because that's where we want to replace the missing data and from this matrix of features x we'll first look at all the rows to give or to select all the rows or to look at all the rows you just need to add a colon here which does not have any upper or lower bound which says you're going through all the rows this fit method will read the whole column that we specify inside this fit method but then for the columns here we could specify all columns where to look for some missing data however the first column is with strings and therefore this might cause a warning or an error when looking for some missing data here therefore we are only going to specify these columns with only real numbers age salary and therefore here we are going to enter the range from 1 to 3 because the upper bound of a range in python is excluded so first 1 2 3 if you give the range as 1 to 2 we exclude 2 this will exclude the salary column therefore we have to go up to 3 so this is the fit method we'll look for all the missing values in the age column and the salary column so here we are specifying specific columns which are age column and the salary column and that's because we know that there is a missing salary and a missing age by the way there is also we can also uh, when you encounter or when you are working with different uh, data sets which are very huge you won't be able to see where the missing values are so just include all the numerical columns to make sure to replace any missing data remember to exclude the columns with strings and there you go imputer dot fit x all the rows and the columns from 1 to 3 this will connect our imputer to matrix of features and now final step we have to call the transform method once again from our imputer object and so this transform method will exactly do the replacement of missing salaries here by mean of the salaries and missing age by the mean of age and it will be replaced by all the means we have to input the columns of x where we want to replace missing data and so these are age column and the salary column therefore we simply have to input exactly same as what we input in the fit method however this transform method actually returns new updated version of matrix of features with two replacements of missing salary and missing age therefore what we want to do is update our matrix of features that is update our existing matrix of features and since this exactly returns these two columns here with that replacement done so to update x we take this second and third column of x matrix features and change it by what it will be returned by this transform function of the imputer object so that the second and third columns of x will be replaced with average age and average salary and therefore the whole matrix of features x will be exactly the same but with these new average age and average salaries so to do this 
P write X, our matrix of features, and including all rows and columns from 1 to 3 will be equal to the result given by this imputer dot transform of X including all rows and columns from 1 to 3. So this will replace all the missing values by the mean of that specific column. And now we are going to create a new code cell where we are going to print the new matrix of features X to see if that missing value can be clearly seen print X. So to do this first run the cell and then print X. You can see that initially when we print X you have a none value here in this Spain category and a none value here in this salary. But here these none values are replaced by means or averages of these particular columns. So congratulations and in the next video we'll see encoding categorical data why is it important and how to implement it. Before going to the next video, make sure you implement the code as far as we discussed. Bye.